1916. A deadly new German fighter, the Albatross. One of its pilots was Manfred von Richthofen, the legendary Red Baron. The Allies countered with the light, fast climbing Sopwith Pup, underpowered but superbly agile. A year later, the Fokker triplane and the Red Baron's flying circus terrorized the Allies. It was the golden age of the World War I fighter. where we are at bloody April 1917 with the Asta 11 the Red Baron's fighter squadron so we're with the Flying Circus JG1 and that's with this campaign as we're doing our German campaign and so this is mission 2 welcome to mission 2 welcome to Red Baron 3D my friends and we're going to find mission number 2 for our with our man Alfred Sturm of the Asta 11 Alfred Sturm was a real pilot in World War I. He was an obscure pilot, not well known. He only had a couple of kills. That's why I chose to portray a character who is likely not an ace in the game. And that quick docu-series that we just watched is called Four Years of Thunder. It's a four-part series about the air war. It's excellent. I think it aired about, it aired over 20 years ago. So in any event, you guys, if you've been tuning into this Red Baron 3D series, Thanks for joining me for the adventures. And we'll be flying Allied again as Frank Luke sometime next week. And um, I might even be streaming on Sunday, Red Baron. Hope to see you guys on the stream. And I'm doing pretty good. Um, a little spacey, a little tired. My leg always feels like there's a dog eating it. But uh, as usual, I'm in good spirits. So let's jump in, you guys. Play some full canvas jacket, Promised Land, from Kessler and Captain Darwin. Takes a second to load up. So we had a good flight. If you guys watched uh, episode one, you guys watched episode one. Thanks for watching. That was good. We shot down Billy Bishop. tobacco. You guys thought I was puffing a blunt drinking a beer, didn't ya? 
you guys can bring some over, that'd be cool. So you guys, where are we at? Let's go to our campaign, kick ass. Intel reports. Our offensive continues. Here we see supplies and reinforcements moving to the front. Unless we find a way to win command of the skies over the battlefield, these men's lives will be wasted. We must not fail. And that was our friend, Ellen Deer TV. We love you, Ellie. Even if your German is worse than your English. Top aces of our day, Guinemer, George Guinemer. I was just watching George Guinemer about 10 minutes ago in full color. There's a series I found on YouTube, but I'd never seen it back in the day, and it's called World War I in Color. I'd never seen it. It came out like 2006, I think, and I must have completely missed it. Totally under my radar. And Guinemer and Rick Toffet, Albert Ball, Albert Ball on film in color at an award ceremony. That was so cool to see that. Love to see Charles Newgesser. Charles Newgesser was one of the first men who attempted a cross Atlantic flight. Never heard from again. Him and another pilot after the war, Newgesser. Newgesser, you would know Newgesser from the Flyboys movie, I think. From Indiana Jones Attack of the Hawkman, Noongesser had like a black heart with a skull and crossbones, coffin and stuff. He had like a really morbid um, insignia on his Newport. Yeah, Noongesser, he was a uh, very famous ace. In any event, Lufberry is flying with the American volunteers for the French, the Lafayette Escadrille. He's got seven kills and he is in our area. Roderick Stanley Dallas with the Royal Naval Air Squadron is also in our area. Rudy Bertold, I think he's Yasta 14. Rene Dorme is one of the French's best aces. Voss is racking up the, the, the kills. It's Bloody April, it's April of 1917. Bloody April because the Germans are just kicking ass. So Werner Voss was just awarded his Blue Max. And uh, Rick Toffin was just awarded his Blue Max not, not long ago. So that's where we're stacking up local squads. We just shot down. We just shot down Billy Bishop. And he's gone. He is retired from duty, wounded in action, disabled permanently. I know the feeling. And so we shot down Billy Bishop in our very first mission. We didn't kill him, but he was completely taken out of action. He was sent home. So the Lafayette Escadrille, Newport, Newport, uh, Lafayette Escadrille, uh, number 124. I like to say Newport's 124 end designation. I could be wrong. So Raul Lufberry is flying for the Lafayette Escadrille, the American Volunteers. They have Newport 17s, Spat 7s. They're at Al Benzavim. And so we'll have to go looking for Raul Lufberry. So that's what we're looking. Right on, local squads, we are Yasta 11. Yeah, that's what we're sitting. So we got the man. We got the brothers Von Richthofen, Lothar and Manfred. We got Kurt Wolf. And so it doesn't look like JG1's been formed yet. So we got a bunch of Yasta 11 aces. Personal stats. So we enlisted, we enlisted on April 1st, April Fool's Day. So in five days, we've been there for a week, it's the 5th. So in five days, we've gotten four kills. We got three Newports, one of them was Billy Bishop, one of Britain's toughest aces, one of, his, one of their highest ranking pilots, one of their most famous legendary pilots was in one of these Newport 17s. I think he was the first one we shot down, I'm pretty sure first or second. And then we got a balloon on our way out. So let's try to keep up our score. We were awarded our Iron Cross, second class. Yep. By order of the Imperial German General Staff, Luther Officer Sturm, Alfred Sturm, was originally a pilot with Yasta 5. I think he had one or two kills. And um, I think he was, uh, I think he was killed in action. 
after just a couple of missions. This is why I picked that that person to portray. He won't be in the game. Excellent. For your actions. Good deal. We got the Iron Cross for shooting down one of Britain's greatest aces. Everything looks groovy. That's it. Next mission. Barrage Patrol. Oberleutnant Eisenloh. Kurt Wolf is flying with us in position number two. Leutnant von Richthofen. I'm going to guess that that is Lothar. It would have to be Lothar. He wouldn't be flying in the uh, third position. Manfred, the Red Baron, is, of course, the CO, the Rittmeister of Yast 11. And so that must be his brother. And so we've been upgraded to an Albatross D3. Because we are no longer vultures, we are now buzzards. We have a plane, we have some kills. And, uh, or what is a goofer? Yeah, the Americans would call it. You got kills, you got a plane, you're a goofer. Right on. And so we're no ace yet, but we were flying in a D2 with our last mission because we were a brand new pilot. But we've been upgraded to a D3, we got four kills. So let's see how far we're going, probably not too far. We're going to triangle flight, piece of cake. We're flying over two infantry positions. It looks like there might be three balloons, two balloons maybe, that would be good. Yeah, barrage patrol. And so we have a factory and we have a railroad here. And also this bridge, something else here too. So we might be looking for uh, allied bombers. I say allies when actually it was the uh, triple intent, the triple alliance, and it was switched back and flip-flopped in World War I. All right, let's go, piece of cake. V flight plan. No incendiaries, which means there might not be any balloons because they're not arming us with any incendiaries. Let's see what other flights there are. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Let's get some incendiaries for sure. Yeah, for balloons. Barrage patrol and escort. We have three. We have three pilots that are available. Bruno Graf, what a great name. Arn, Arn Ditter. Yeah, see, so when we get some rank, we can grab some of these flights. So Manfred von Richthofen is flying in an escort flight. Once we get some, and they're only flying D2s, why would they be flying D2s, Manfred von Richthofen? Huh. And I can't, I can't switch flights. Once I get some, uh, once we get some rank, then we can move some of these pilots around. The Red Baron himself is only flying a D2. Oh, we're in a Red Albatross now. Kurt Wolf is in that purple Albatross. sure who that is with the white tail. Oh, Lothar. Right. All the way across enemy lines for that one fifth kill. We'll look for some balloons on the way out and hope we don't get killed. Last time we took one right in the neck.
really think about time. Jeez.
off something. Can't believe this guy's still freaking dead. Red Baron got most of his kills on his two seaters. He never did reveal his attack method, but you can get a good hint out of the writings, um, descriptions of the combat by survivors. Now there might be a balloon over here. Where I'm looking at the map where we're flying, there should be an infantry position, which means there might be an observation balloon. There it is, right there. At our 10 o'clock. safe so far. I've flown so many of these missions where you get popped and you just get one shot you got game over. That's it. We are way too low. This machine gun is having a freaking it's a bunch of uh, contacts at 9 o'clock. Right in the ass, you watch. Look at this. Yeah, we got gunners all over the freaking place. Look at this, they're trying to destroy us. Speed with help.
must be wounded. Oh, our propeller's even messed up. Look at this. And now our plane's repaired right as soon as we landed. Just like in multiplayer, you land. Look at the engine. Look at this. Your mission is over, and the ambulance takes us away. Mission number two is success. Damage two factories. Fifty. I forgot to see how many bombs they dropped. Fifty-five RFC. Yeah, they messed that factory up. They did more damage than we're about to do to them. Eighteen bombs. BE twos. C2s drop 32 bombs in that infantry position. Alfred Sturm damaged a BE2. Shot by an Allied machine gun. Let's see where we got wounded. I dropped eight bombs on that plane. It's a BE show. They're all DH4s to me. DH2, DH4, Sturm shot by an Allied machine gun. C2, Schloss to 12. Vickers type. Bomber reconnaissance and other Vickers. I was damaged by a Vickers. Forty bombs on that railway. We dropped forty bombs in that rail station. I shot that Vickers down. So those Newport 17s are from RFC 60 out of Sabine. That's where Billy Bishop was. Our first kill, huh? Maybe our second, third, Billy Bishop. British Ace. Damaged an Allied balloon. I got wounded. <clears throat> so I got wounded at that balloon. Graf landed, Manfred von Richthofen, the Red Baron landed. Damage an allied balloon. Damage another allied balloon. If we survived, we did good. This game is a lot harder than it looks. It's a lot harder to fly those planes than it looks and to actually hit something. As you can see, I'm chasing these two-seaters around for 20 minutes, half hour. Pardon me. See right there, it's giving us clues of who's where. Newport 17. Oh, it says I crash. What do you mean I crash? How did I crash? I didn't crash. Keeps giving me that error, I crashed. I'm landing perfectly. I've done it a million times. And the mission. Six kills. 
Our aircraft is destroyed. We are okay. Our mission was ineffective. Friendly casualties were moderate. You inflicted moderate losses to the enemy. Six kills. Kick ass. Oh, and our plane is destroyed. So I think that puts us at 10 kills. Halfway, halfway to being awarded our blue max. Dog gone. Man, I flipped that baby over, huh? It looked like I landed safely. Crashed and was hospitalized for his injuries. That's the role of the dragon dice in this game. You really never know. April 9th. Good deal. So nine days later, we're back in the game. We got awarded probably our Iron Cross First Class. Yep, Iron Cross First Class. Kick ass. Nice. Look at that. Look at the boys right up there. Who do we have? The two guys, I can't remember their names. In the middle, Manfred von Richthofen. All the way to the right is Lothar's brother. Oh, look at that. All four of all five of them wearing their blue maxes. Important information about your squad and the squad ops realm. It's April 9th, bloody April 1917. Hauptmann Ashberg has been transferred out of your squadron. Fleischmann has transferred into your squadron. So we got a captain. Place of the first lieutenant. From home, an American army is fighting for you. Everything you hold worthwhile. I'm number two. We're beating Kurt Wolf. You guys remember Kurt Wolf, right? He wears his. I always thought he was so cool. He wore his sleeping cap to fly in. Yeah. Lothar von Richthofen, one kill. We are sitting at ten kills. We are beating Kurt Wolf. Pardon me, it's late. We still have Albatross D2s. Why is Manfred von Richthofen flying a... Oh, he has a D2 and a D3. Right on, so does Wolf. Manfred. Hers is purple with red. The pilots of Yasta 11 would have red and then one other color on their planes. Four Allied balloons, two BE-2s, an FE-2B, and three Newport 17s. One of them was Billy Bishop. That was pretty cool to run into him, like, first mission, running into an ace. Manfred's up to 38. Manfred's got 38 kills. He just pushed Guinemir out of the number one slot. Maybe we'll run into new Gesser and Ball and Guinemir or Rene Dorme, but we'll likely run into. And he's been bumped off the list. We will run into uh, Raul Lufberry. He's right across the line from us in the Lafayette Escadrille. Escadrille 124, the American Volunteers. Cool beans. I think that wraps up our missions for pardon me, our missions for tonight. We got the big metal box, right? By order of the Imperial German General Staff, Wunder Officer Sturm, a pilot in the new Stuttgart, is recognized for repeated. Of bravery and heroism exemplified by his actions in April 5th, 1917. To be worn on the left side of your dress uniform. Now, I thought there was a replay button for the award ceremony, I guess not. Yeah, I thought we used to click these and it would replay it. So, that's where we're sitting, our pilot logs. Alfred Sturm, 10 kills. And, oh, 
Frank. Luke Frank's got 17. Good deal. So running our two campaigns so far, rock and roll. Awesome, awesome, guys. Fun, 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 you guys. Thanks for tuning in to another adventure with our man Alfred Sturm, originally of Yasta 5. He was killed in action early in the war. I believe he died with two kills under his belt. So you guys, that's uh, mission number two for our German playthrough. We're flying with JG-1, Jagdschwader 1, the Flying Circus, the infamous Red Baron Squadron. And so tune in for more, you guys, and I hope you're having a great weekend tomorrow. Today, I guess I'll be posting this today. I might be streaming today. It's Sunday. And I bid you all a very good night and an excellent rest of your weekend. Full of good memories, my friends. Be well.